So continuing with the descriptions that Rabbi Yochanan ben Zaka gave of his five preeminent students, we've already seen what he said about Eliezer ben Hirkinus. He was a cemented cistern that loses not a drop. Yoshua ben Hananiah, blessed and fortunate is the mother who bore him because we learned about the way in which his mother used to take him to the Beit Midrash and the efforts she made to ensure that he heard words of Torah and that he was engaged in Torah. And now we come to Rabbi Yossi HaKohen. And he uh, says, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zaka about him, Rabbi Yossi HaKohen, Chassid. He is a Chassid, which we translate as pious. Well, in that particular age, when you had very, very high standards amongst these sages, what it means to describe somebody as a chassid must have been absolutely awesome in terms of his piety and something which would be even difficult for us to be able to imagine uh, at, at, um, in, these, in these times. Uh, and in relation to um, Shimon ben Netanel, the next of these students, Rabbi Shimon ben Netanel, Yerei Chait. He is a person who is fear, who, who's sin-fearing, fears sin. And once again, um, we must understand that we're talking here about a person to receive this accolade from his teacher would have been everybody at that stage. You know, all of these, these sages we're talking about would have been Yerushimayim, Yerachet, they would have been fear, fearful of sin. Uh, but uh, Shimon ben Natalia was an expert uh, and, a, and a specialist in this particular area. Uh, and he was extremely careful to make a fence around the Torah so he would never ever approach anything which might resemble uh, any, um, anything that was wrong or in, inappropriate. And finally, we come to Elazar ben Arach. And Rabbi Elazar ben Arach, Kamayan Hamit Gaber. He is like a spring that gushes with renewed vigor. So the difference between a river and a spring is that a river receives water from the outside, but a spring seems to have its own uh, inner source. Uh, and it seems to flow from its own, from some kind of secret place. And you have these uh, extraordinary human beings of whom Rabbi Elazar ben Arach was one, who are so hugely intuitive and so deeply intelligent and so incredibly in, in, in creative that they just continue to gush new insights, new ideas, um, new concepts, um, like a, well, a wellspring of, of, um, of wisdom. And unlike springs, which sometimes dry up or decrease in their strength, the wisdom of this sage is one that Hamayan uh, Hamit Gaber. It seemed that it grew stronger and stronger and stronger throughout his entire life. And the older he became, the more beautifully and prof prolifically his his um, wisdom just flowered and and flowed. So this is Mayan Hamit Gaber. But there you are. We have these five students. Each one of them have these special qualities. And now the big question is going to be, which one? of the five preeminent is the preeminent preeminent. Which one actually has the qualities which are the most favored? And the next Mishnah is going to discuss that. So wait for the next exciting installment. Uh, it's a cliffhanger um, and uh, you could cheat by looking at Pirka Vot yourself. And I'm sure you'll want to keep the surprise alive until Sunday when we shall discover which one of these five is the ultimate